here we are. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Another live streaming and um, we're going to talk about palm muting, right? Uh, people, you know, I receive a lot of questions about palm muting and for, for metal riffs and for souls too, right? But normally the questions are regarding um, metal riffs, but let's see if I can talk a little bit about using palm muting for, for solos and melodies as well. So let me say uh, hello to everyone here. I have uh, my paper here. So yeah, good stuff. Carlos Bells and Christine, Maria Clara. All right, so yeah, here we are. So let's talk about, you know, let's talk about how to mute, you know, would be the, the best, the, the first thing and how to practice. Is it possible to practice? I was thinking about that because I think I, I never really practice palm muting. I practice playing solos and riffs and I was trying to add the, the technique, the palm muting technique to the riffs and solos, but I never really focused my practice to this specific technique. So, but I think it's possible. I think it's possible. And uh, we will start with what is, what is palm muting, right? Is it a good subject? People like that? Yeah. So, so, and then how we, how can we start, you know, what is palm muting and how can we use that, right? So of course I have, uh, you know, quite, quite a lot of games. First of all, let's sound check a little bit. Let me see, uh, let me know if the sounds good. Sounds a little bit too hot here, but let's see. Is it good? Bonjour de France, uh, Nicolas et Ol oh, huh? Olit. Uh, all right, so before you talk about palm muting, can you show me what scale and uh, and playing style of Randy Rhodes? Um, I have bad news for you, bad news for you. So he was not using a Randy Rhodes scale or like one scale, you know. So that was the, the magic he was doing because he was doing several, uh, using several different scales. And actually he was also, also using good uh, combinations of major triads and the tapping, you know, some very good examples. But this is for another, another uh, live streaming, which is a great, it's a great uh, idea to talk about Randy Rhodes and his style. You know, if you guys want to, uh, for if if you guys want me to talk about this. So um, the difference between palm muting, uh, palm muting a guitar and electric guitar. Um, okay, arriba Mexico. All right. So um, so basically, I would do the the. For you, for the beginners, and uh, even if you play a little bit, you want to try to just to understand the position and why we use palm muting and the sound. Um, maybe a, a good way to do it would be just, you know, open strings. I know it's going to sound uh, not so, you know, uh, great, but so then I would sub instead of doing it with my palm. I will use my finger so you guys can see, you know, what I'm doing. So if I have my finger here, I mean, if, you, if I put my finger here, nothing happens. And then here, nothing happens. Here, I, I start feeling the, the vibration of the strings, but the sound doesn't really change. Then the notes die, right? Until I find any harmonics here. So if you see, it's just a tiny, tiny, uh, it's like a tiny space here 
that you can change completely the sound, right? Like from a completely open string to a, like a dead or muted string. <laughs> That's the concept. Oops, oops. So, but you will use this part of the hand, right? And then what you have to practice at first would be put, uh, finding that place, right? Finding, doing the same exercise now, but with the palm. So then you find where is the position, you know, the position of your hand where you will place your palm and then you have to have this uh, the skill of playing and keep the palm here right and then you keep doing the the, the down picking here and then I move my hands my hand and I try to find uh, different places with different uh, different sounds different tones right so that's the first exercise I can call that as a, as a as an exercise and actually I have to tell you that uh, working with Dave Mustaine he's like he's he's very particular and very meticulous about where you place your palm to get the right sound, to get the you know the perfect and the the perfect metal sound because uh, the metal tone right because the the thing like if you change like millimeters you know just a little bit you you lose the bass or you gain bass to that note so let's see if you can hear uh, the difference here. <laughs> Good. You have you have a lot a, more bass. And then suddenly you hear the the note being completely open. Uh, and there's there is a specific place that you um, you just control the open string. So if you play like the string gets too loose and vibrates uh, 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 out of control, the vibration is out of control. So if you just kind of uh, rest your palm there, you control the, the vibration without changing the sound that much, just maybe just a little bit. So like, like this, so then, I can, then I can mute. Now it's a, mute, a muted sound, right? Then a little bit more, I get a little bit more bass. You know, uh, of course, if you're watching this on your your phone, you're probably not gonna hear because it's a it's a tiny difference. But if you're playing loud on stage with a you know um, big amps or you know just a big uh, big arena, and then you can feel the whole body, you know, the bass of that millimeter just towards uh, the pickups here, towards, towards the neck, to the point that you lose the bass and then you lose the note. Like, now you lose the note. It's a cool sound as well, kind of metallic sound. Right? So... Uh, and then, of course, you can uh, create dynamics just moving your palm, you know, like, like this. Right? So, the intensity is... is almost the same of course I'm doing a little bit of a crescendo as well you know dynamics going up but the main thing is the palm so where you place finding those tiny sweet spots for different tones different sounds very important and then of course the more you play the more control you will have it right um, 
Uh, what else? So learning the position, so where your palm lands, and then what sound you will get from that position. Very important, right? Mainly for riff, riffs and metal, metal riffs, right? If you play jazz, probably this is not gonna be very, very useful for you. Um, good, let me see what you guys are uh, saying here. I'm using the strings, um, you know, I'm gonna repeat what I always say. It's not about the equipment. It's not like, oh, tell me about the strings. There you buy the strings, you're not gonna get this sound. It's about your hands, you know. It, can, it doesn't matter, it can be ninth, tenth. You know, the thicker uh, the strings, probably the better for that, or it's more about playing with uh, thicker strings. You just have a, a, a better intonation. You know, you can play harder and then the intonation is better. Uh, mainly when you're playing live or if you're playing with uh, your band has two guitar players and then you know so if one one guy plays plays uh, harder than the other one so the intonation can uh, be, can be a little bit um, different and then it sounds kind of out of tune but, uh, to guitarists when you're recording really important because you want to double guitars you want to record several guitars so intonation is also a key factor but it's about your hands you know because you know it's not about the guitar pick it doesn't matter the guitar pick you know uh, it doesn't matter the strings you know but of course I can take the, the moment here to say that I'm using the Darius strings 1052 uh, NYXL uh, but uh, it's not about this, the, the, the strings you know to get the sound okay <laughs> Um, so I think this is like quite a good exercise so just one note the E so you play completely open uh, with the, your palm is not touching the bridge at all it doesn't matter if, if, it's late, if it is a Les Paul if, if it is if it's a, a floating bridge like the or like a bridge like this it doesn't matter of course if it's like the other one that I have uh, the floating uh, bridge then you have to be careful the way you how much you press because then you know you, you will change the, the tuning of the guitar right um, that's why you don't need to press very hard that's important to say as well it's very light you just touch you just like you rest you rest your your hand your palm over over the strings okay <laughs> So again, the exercise, not touching, touching the bridge without uh, feeling the strings vibrating and then you start moving your hand and then you start understanding, okay, the sound you're getting and then the quality of the sound and the control of the, of the sound. See, like completely open. So yeah, so control, and then you can practice if if you're saying, you know, let's find ways to practice this. So I'm using the lower strings, and then of course, if you want to practice, then you go to the next strings. If you have a seven string guitar or eight string guitar, it would be the same. Uh, then you go to A. <laughs> My hangar 18 is completely open. 
So can practice using the E strings, the A string, the D string, right? Or just single notes. So I believe this, those are very good exercises, good tips for you to practice, you know, just start improvising ideas, just like chromatic runs and uh, just any chord or just follow the the chord progression and then mute open and mute mute it open and mute it and then keep practicing this uh, the movement of open and muted right so you can go fast from one to another right good um, what else let's see here so that would be the the main the main thing you know and uh, then the next step as let's say like an ex exercise or riffs that you can try to find that has uh, open open chords and muted uh, lower notes something like it's a basic thing in metal right so our hands are doing like open right so uh, and then is, is a perfect moment now practicing the playing open and muted to create riffs you just start improvising and just keep doing it and then at some point you you will have several ideas several you know um, ideas to start a song to start uh, your own song right so um so now then the next thing would be you know a uh, lower string and the open chords and then you can start variating this like you know <laughs> You know, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three is muted, and the four, the chord, it's open, you know, or can be single note. Right? So you can practice this as well. And then the next step would be uh, 16th notes, right? Uh, up and down, and then the chord is open. So something like. Being able to do like up and down, like alternate picking, using the, the palm muting technique. So it's all muted, right? Now you can mix this with open chords. Right, so, yeah, so that's a very good exercise as well, you know, um, alternate picking and adding open chords. So start practicing this you know switching from one to another one good pretty metal right and then i'm just playing whatever here not playing any specific riff i guess uh you never know maybe play something that sounds familiar or sounds like another song but uh just improvising basic stuff so you can use this and then you can see like how how can you the ways to practice this just like you can learn riffs from other bands or you just start playing your, your own stuff and then just improvise. That's the way I like to do it actually. But uh, just improvise stuff and create stuff, you know. All right. Uh, dystopia, is, is it palm muted? Uh, which part? Of course, this, uh, we are always using palm muting. 
palm muting, always. This is completely open, right? Uh, so the, the D is uh, open chords and the D is, is muted. And then the open chords, they're not exactly like one, one stroke, would be more like a rake. Right? Right. And then this this is completely open. It's not. It could be true, right? But it's not. Uh, completely open with the with the pause after. So you use the palm the palm to stop. Let me see if you guys have any questions about this. And uh, yeah, so, uh, so now you know where to place your hand, um, the dynamics you can have, the exercise you can create from uh, those ideas here and, and tips and uh, things that you can evolve from this and develop from this and create your own riffs. I think in the end of the day, at least that way, that's the way I see music is like, Create your own thing, you know, like have fun, like playing all the songs and and all the riffs, but then start turning those other songs into your own stuff, and then at some point you just start playing things that come from from your heart, I would say, from your brain or from your heart, uh, right? Gallops, uh, gallops would be the same. <laughs> It changes the rhythms, uh, the rhythm, right? But the position of the palm is the same. So the rhythms, of course, you can change as much as you can. The gallop has the the up and down, right? So the alternate picking. That's why I would start with down picking only, like not so fast. Charlie. That was not nice. What is? <laughs> I, I know the. I know your feeling. But uh, yeah, he wants to use the mute technique for for other purposes uh, at home. So I'm the. I, I I think I'm just a good teacher here. You know, hopefully, to teach how to mute the strings. And that's it. You know. I don't know about your kids and your wife and uh, other people, your neighbor. And other people that you you would wish that this technique uh, would work, but uh, don't think so. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the solos. You know, I got the question from um, where is it? Wedding singer Santorini, amici italiani. Uh, all right, so. Um, is it difficult to palm you standing up? Well, I think this uh, thing of practicing sitting down and standing up is a good, there's a lot of questions about that too, right? Uh, it shouldn't be different. It shouldn't be different because, you know, your hands are, you know. Uh, it's a little, the tricky thing would be like if you're running, you know, or walking fast and you want to mute and be precise, right? In that specific spot for that specific sound, you know, and then you might say, "Well, Kiko, but who, who is, who would be playing and run, running at the same time?" You know, concerts, you know, concerts, big stages, big stages, uh, situations like that. You probably, probably, you will run uh, and move a lot, so 
basically your hand has to anchor in that place without pressing because then you have the intonation problem or whatever problem that might happen so you have to anchor uh, lightly your hands like your hand here and then and move around without getting your hands out of the or out, out of this specific spot for the for the muting uh, technique and I think uh, well then I don't know how to explain the only way is like to you know get your guitar go outside start running and playing with headphones and see if the sounds is changing or not but uh, if you want to play live I, I would recommend to walk and play at the same time you know walk at home walk around and then and play and play uh, play standing all the time then you you understand the, the, the position of the hand um, when you're standing you should but it shouldn't be a, a, a problem all right so yeah so people are asking about if I use the the pinky finger so sometimes yes because sometimes you're here and then you can you know to have uh, this this part here always there you know yeah so I do use the pinky I kind of leave it here depending depending what you're playing because if you're going if you if you're going up and down using all the strings so then it's here you know I'm using this part of the finger here so I'm, not, I'm already not using the palm I'm using the you know the I'm using the finger like for the first note but I think it depends on you know um, you know the size of your hands and things like that right how do how do you play pinch harmonics with a picking I don't know I don't know I don't do that I don't know I don't have this answer for you I'm sorry but I don't know that um, okay so the muting strings with the other hand that's another thing is like to play cleaner right it's not to change the tone um, the sound but um, uh, let's talk about the solos right so a lot of questions here so um, I mean higher higher strings right as like you would say Van Halen doing <laughs> same technique so the same thing here same technique the only difference is the pos difference is the position here because now I have to find so I would practice as well like like a riff here right just down 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 strokes so the same idea so and the other note is open right so the same thing um, and then the solo so then after uh, you practice the down down picking slowly right you could try to do the same the same with the same thing we did on on the sixth string you would do try to to see if you are able to play the alternate picking in every string muting the muting the strings so basically like in the guitar hex program 
that you know that you know I divide the hours to to show how you know like a, a, a consistent way to practice that's one of the things that you have to do constantly which is like playing open and muted you know it has to be part of your training everything you play try to play muted and try to play play open you know because then you know then you you understand and then you figure out oh it's difficult for me to to mute on the uh, using the first string or the third string whatever you know and then you start understanding the best the, the position the right hand position right okay cool just reading some stuff here and um, so then the, the same the same thing would be like if you do one two three four you know <laughs> muted right then you would try to um, to play muted and open muted and open right muted open muted. you know like alternating fast faster like the open sound with the muted sound very good exercises uh, I'm saying here this the the last one here this is pretty difficult but you can uh, play just like one two three four and see when you you're able to mute and to open right so slowly you get that control and then of course you can use during your solos you know something more muted or open Right, so completely open or no, it's different, different, um, it's a pretty different sound, right? All right, so I think it's uh, we kind of covered the the whole, the not the, not everything probably, but pretty much the exercise tips where to what is what is muting, you, you, you know, so. As I did the exercise to find, you know, if you didn't understand, just do that. To understand the sound and then where you can place your hand and then of course you have to do with this part of the hand, right? You're not gonna be holding the pick and doing this. But then, instead of using one hand, you have to mute and play with the same hand. So right there is already like a big change. Um, um, and it's a good thing to start practicing. Good. And then you go through all the stuff we, we I said uh, during this, what, 42 minutes that we're here. All right, so. Let me read what you guys are saying. Um, so, sweet picking with mute, mute, muting the strings. I, somebody saying here, like, uh, uh, who said that? Uh, Gus, no, GU55 or Gus55, 55. And uh, yeah, the sweet picking would be the same thing. <laughs> But once you find the right place to, to rest your palm and then you start playing basic stuff like the one, two, three, four or basic riffs, you will discover the, the place that your hand, your palm has to be. And then if it's a sweep picking, if it's a hybrid picking, well the, the guitar tone doesn't is not great for that. The hybrid picking you can mute. It's a little bit harder. I have a gate here. Um, so you start finding ways to do that. And um, yeah, so then any technique will work.
equalización ideal para hacer el palm muting. No, there's no uh, EQ for that. I, I don't think it's a, it's the, there's a EQ for, for have a good guitar sound, but not specifically for palm muting. For riffs, you know, this, this, I'm using here the, the Noli DSP, uh, Neuro, Neuro DSP, Noli archetype. Sorry, I said <laughs> uh, Neuro DSP, Noli archetype. So this one is like pretty heavy with a lot of, of a lot of gain. <laughs> A lot of game. The guitar is not really metal, but uh, so if you have, you know, a good amount of gain, would be ideal for those riffs, you know, and to get that sound. But it's really about your hand, you know, because you can get that intensity even um, with a, I don't know, with a crunchy, crunch sound or something like that, you know. Because it's not so so heavy actually. Yeah, I like that. You see? So it's like muted and then uh, the phrase here is open and the last two notes muted oh no it's open i don't know depend it depends on the show but yeah mute open yeah Right, um. cool stuff. All right, so um, any questions about that? Let me see. The cleanest sound uh, with palm muting helps to get the, but it helps to get a cleaner sound with a lot of gain, right? That I think that uh, your question is about how to play cleaner with a lot of gain. Uh, yeah, yes, but you know, your left hand also can uh, create like undesirable. Uh, sounds, you know, so you have to play, you know, mainly those kind of sounds. So, but the, this is a different kind of noise, right? Uh, I don't know, um, pump, what, well, if I would write some tabs now about what I just jammed, no. I will not because I don't remember anymore. But uh, anyone that wants to do that is a welcome. Uh -huh. any, any other questions about this? If I speak French. Uh, uh, No, this is a Neuro GSP, it's a plugin. I'm using a plugin, Neuro GSP. Just go there like neurogsp.com and uh, they have amazing stuff. All right. Um, what else? If I, I don't understand, some, some questions I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what you guys want to ask. Uh, so like if I, if I use my right hand to mute stringers, strings lower than the string you play, well, the hand, the hand is there. If I'm playing the A note, the A string, the A string will be also, the, the palm 
uh, stretchy as well because you know it's a palm. It's like a lot of fingers here to control that. So you can you can uh, move a little bit like this too, uh, creating an angle as well. So you can mute few few strings and not much the other one. Maybe that's that's what you're asking. So yes, you could do, you could do like. The hands like this so you can mute one string and not the other one is not you know not muted but it's easier to just raise the hand a little bit or just move you know so I think if you start playing a lot you will find your 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 best way of doing this you know if it's like raising the hand a little bit you know up just a tiny tiny bit or um, maybe sideways or you know like creating an angle or just like sliding off the strings and then back you know because it's such a tiny movement that you can do it you know pretty fast and then um, and if you do it if you don't do it right it's not a big deal you know if you don't do it like perfectly because you know maybe the, the notes will not be so muted you know when you're recording Yes, maybe it's a big deal because you say like I want that phrase like perfectly muted, and then you repeat the part again until you get that specific sound. But if you're playing live and the chord is a little bit more open than it should be, or is in the album, it's just you know it's not a big deal. You know, it's not as as a big deal as playing a wrong chord. You know, uh, yeah, so you know, so it's fine and then slowly you find uh, ways to 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 be like something very organic you know when you play the you mute or you open naturally it's like you know just like riding the bike or something like that you know it's very natural at, at, at after after you know maybe I don't know maybe a few years playing it's very natural If I Eduardo, if I have any tips when I should implement palm muting on a solo, that's pure taste. You know, there's a lot of players that use a lot of that. You know, I remember in the '80s. You know, a lot of you know Van Halen and uh, uh, George Lynch. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like so many players from that period, they're using a lot of those uh, downstrokes and creating melodies with uh, with downstrokes and muted muted downstrokes right so so it's more it's more about the taste you know um, so what the beauty the beauty of uh, electric guitar you know you can play the same melody muted open with bends with slides and uh, vibratos and uh, whammy bar and then you start playing the same melody every time in different ways or every note using a different technique and then you can create, play the same melody of a song in many different ways. You know, every time you play, you you try different a different thing. So yeah, so it's about uh, expression. So how you want to express uh, your soul. There's no rule. I would be the last one to give you any rule like this. You know. Just explore. Um, does the palm muting help the right hand precision? when practicing. Oh, for sure, for sure. Because kind of anchored there and then uh, it helps you to to be in place and to pray to play to play more precisely. Cool? All right, guys. Uh, let me know if this was fun, if it was helpful, um, if this is a good is a good uh, topic to talk about. You know, just just share this if you think somebody needs to to see that. You know, if you have a, a, a friend, a guitar player, uh, that you could suggest this video, and then um, yeah, so so it's fun to share with you guys some figure out. You know, and then it's here for you guys. What about you say is the biggest difference between? Oh, the questions. Um, 
Yeah, one day we talk about the difference between me and Dave. Uh, that's uh, so different, I guess. So, um, people like my shirt. Yeah, I got like a Chico Hay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. So, Mateus, Giuseppe, Bells, Fernando, Felipe, Marco Damiani. All right, guys, Mark Johnston. Johnston. A, e, B, and G are hard to mute. Yeah, the lower strings are harder to mute, of course, yeah, because your hands are here. And then, so it's lower. That's why I, I play with my open hands. And it helps, you know, to have the open hand like this. So, yeah. You know. As West Colombia. Yes, man. Ah. It's hard. All right, so have a great night and come to Santorini. All right, I will. One day. All right, guys. Um, thanks a lot, and uh, see you next week. And then uh, share this video, you know, leave any comments there in the comments area. And uh, it's always fun to be with you guys here. Take care and, uh, you know, stay safe. Bye.